Magandang araw, April and Marcos po, ang inyong pretty ate sa EdTech Unit. Alam ba ninyo na may webinar o online training session ng EdTech Unit tuwing Sabado? Ang araw na ito ay nakalaan para sa ating mga mahal na kaguruan upang turuan sila ng mga bagong kaalaman at kakayahan sa paggamit ng mga bagong software at applications para sa pinaka-epektibong paraan at lubos mapagpusay ang kanilang paraan ng pagtuturo. This is also our fresher session for our beloved teachers to enhance their skills in technology. Every Saturday, we will conduct webinar sessions for teachers about the use, advantages, and relevance of different blended learning software applications. Ang webinar seryong ito ay magsisimula ng alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali para sa morning session. Magsisimula naman ng alauna at magtatapos ng alas 4 ng hapon ang afternoon session. You can watch us in our Dev Ed EdTech Unit Facebook page, Educational Technology Unit YouTube channel, Dev Ed Tayo, and Dev Ed Philippines. Kita-kits tayo tuwing Sabado! Mabuhay! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Tutor Match. Welcome sa ating e life ang ating libreng online tutorial na hatid ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon, ICTS EdTech. Ang programang ito ay inaasahang makatutulong at maging karagdagang kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral mula kinder hanggang senior high school. ALS, Alive, at SPED Learners. Bukod sa pagsagot ng mga modules, Ang itulay ay may mga special programs din na siguradong aabangan ninyo araw-araw. Katuwang ang ating mga minamahal na mga magulang at guro ay maitutulay natin ang pagkatuto. Kaya, ihanda na ang inyong module, lapis, papel o kwaderno. Ihanda rin ang isip, mata at tenga sa isa na namang makabuluhang aralin. Tayo nang matuto kasama ang inyong volunteer online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, good afternoon, uh, Tutor Eric. Good afternoon, Tutor Wendy. Happy Monday. Yes, happy Monday and welcome ulit sa ating mga students, teachers, and parents na nanonood ng ating Gen Bio 1 online tutorial. Ayan, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat sa ating mga mag-aaral, mga magulang at ating mga mag at ating mga guro na mahusay. I am once again Tutor Eric saying that learning biology is fun and terrific. And I am your tutor Wendy and I believe that general biology will come in handy. Ayan, so, ayan, to ay nasa ikalawang linggo na, nasa week 2 na tayo yes. ng ating quarter 2. At ang ating discussion ngayon ay tungkol sa chloroplast, pigments, and mm -hmm. introduction to photosynthesis. Yes. So, parang continuation lang ito ng ating um, previous session, Tutor Eric. Yeah, oo nga po. Kaya naman sa ating mga mag-aaral, ayan, handa na ba kayo? So please ready your pen and paper para kayo ay makapag-take notes. Remember that taking notes ay uh, nag -e enhance ng ating learning. And of course, let us listen, learn, and participate dito sa ating mga discussion sa pamamagitan ng pagtatype ng inyong mga answers dito sa ating comment section, dito sa ating uh, live stream ng ating itulay, General Biology 1 Shutter. And of course, let us respect one another. Let us use our social media platforms responsibly. And ngayon naman, uh, Tutor Wendy, it's time na para tayo ngayon ay magkaroon ng attendance check. So dito sa, uh, inyo, dito sa ating comment ay uh, itype lamang ang inyong name, ang inyong grade mm -hmm. and section at ang inyong school and section. At uh, of course, itype ang inyong general biology one teacher. So makikita ninyo sa ating screen yung mga sample comments na sumunod dito sa ating format ng ating attendance check. And of yeah. course, do not forget to react, heart or like yung ating live stream ngayon at i-share. Mm -hmm. para mas marami pa ang makapanood ng ating tutorial ng General Biology 1. Yes. 
Ayan, Ayan. so may mga nag-attendance na ba? Oo, meron na. So, nandyan na ang ating mga student, uh, Tutor Eric, from uh, Jones Rural High School. And of course, yung mga taga Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School from Dabao. So, sila yung mga nauna sa ating uh, attendance check. Ayan. And of course, para sa ating mga learners ngayon, ngayon ay pinagdiriwang natin mm-hmm. ang Department of Science and Technology National Science and Technology Science. Week na may temang Agham at Teknolohiya mm-hmm. tung- uh, Tugon sa Hamon ng Panahon. Of course, ang ating uh, Agham at ang ating pananaliksik ay merong role sa tatahakin ng ating mundo sa kinabukasan. And lalo ngayon na tayo ay merong mapanghamong panahon ng pandemya, Ayan, may kalutasan sa agham at teknolohiya. So, uh, i-follow nyo lamang ang page ng ating Dep- uh, Department of Science and Technology para malaman ninyo ang schedule ng events ng ating NSTW 2021. Ayan, na-miss ko tuloy ang pagpunta sa World Trade Center every year oh. kapag uh, uh, National Science and Technology Week. Ayan, so ito, Tutor Eric, ay oh, oh, week-long celebration ito. No, na, sa ngayon, puro virtual muna tayo. Be, oh, pero oh. hopefully, next time, makapunta na ulit tayo sa, ano, oh. <laughs> sa event na ganyan. Yes, yung uh, may mga exhibits talaga yeah. ng mga uh, research natin and something yes, that's tama. about science and technology. Ngayon, mm-hmm. ayan, i-recognize naman natin ang ating mga naging partner schools and teachers uh, nitong uh, week 1 ng ating General Biology 1. So, ang ating uh, partner schools, ayan, uh, nandiyan ang Aurora Senior High School with our partner teacher, Sir Brian R. Concepcion. Nandiyan din ang Horacio de la Costa Senior High School with our partner teacher, Ma'am Easter Boralio. And uh, from Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School, we have Ma'am Je- uh, Jen Melendres Pepito. Ayan, at meron pa tayo, syempre, na mga partner schools and teacher, no, Tutor Wendy? We have yes. also our Jones Rural School. And our partner teacher is Ma'am Cheryl G. Reyes. Maraming sa, uh, salamat po sa pagsuporta. And ang uh, San Miguel National High School with our partner teacher, Ma'am Mary Joan uh, Joan Aquino. So maraming salamat mm-hmm. po sa ating mga partner schools yeah. and Thank teachers you po. sa pagsubaybay at pagsuporta sa uh, General mm-hmm. Biology 1 ito lai tutorial and of okay. course kung meron tayong mga partner schools and teachers meron din tayong mga bioactive students of the so, week so hindi natin to pwedeng kalimutan tutor eric syempre i-recognize natin ang ating mga bioactive students Ayan, mula sa Aurora Senior High School, meron, uh, ang ating bioactive student ay si Kyla May. At mula naman sa Horacio de la Costa Senior High School, ang ating bioactive student ay si Gian. Ah, Ayan, tignan naman natin. Congratulations. Mula mm-hmm. naman sa Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School, we have Drew Avinash, Bea Marie, Hezekia John, Elena Gale, Arian Sophia, Mark Allen Luis, Bea Katrina, Arkane Sebastian, Sebastian, uh, James Edrich, Bianca Nicole, Jean Glidel, and uh, Christine Monreal. Ayan. At sino pa ang ating mga bioactive students from Dan- uh, Daniel R. Aguinaldo? We have Princess Carlin Shane. We have Kier Danver, Novaliza, Nicole Kite. Ayan, si Eddie John. Nandiyan din si John Raven, Charles Jake. Janet, Almarie, Samantha Nicole, at si Carl Bryan. Meron pa ba tayo from Daniel R. Aguinaldo na bioactive students? Ah, lipat na ma'am? tayo ng school. Lipat na tayo ng school, Ayan. Tutor Eric. Mula naman so, sa Jones, Jones Rural, Rural School. school. Ayan, ang ating so, mga bioactive ba, students. Nandiyan <laughs> si Gurley, nandiyan si Frances Carel, John Erol, Eliza May, John Wayne, Janelle, Noreen Lay, Ayan, Luisa Joy, Jema, uh, Jemaina Gwynet, si Hana, uh, si Hana DR, at saka si Hana B. Ayan. So, dalawa yung Hana natin dyan. Dalawa eh? kasi yung Hana natin. So, oh, initials na yung kanilang mga surname. Mula naman sa San Miguel National High School, we have Sheena May. We also have Jello, Jasmine Marie, Jemark, Lariza, Patricia, Alexandra, Angelica, Giselle, uh, Frenstein, Giselle, and, and si Trixie May. Trixie Para sa ating May. bioactive students from San Miguel National High School. So, etong ating mga bioactive students, 
students, sila yung mga students natin na bukod sa nag-attendance ay they actively participated sa lahat ng questions natin dito sa ating uh, tutorial Yun. for week 1. So, hindi lang huminto sa attendance, Tutor Eric, talagang nag-participate all throughout our session. Ayan. So, maraming salamat din sa pagsuporta and sana ay marami din kayo natutunan sa ating bioactive um, students. Now, punta naman tayo ngayon sa target natin ng ating objectives for our quarter 2 week 2 dito sa ating Gen Bio 1. So, ang ating most essential learning competency ay you should be able to explain the importance of chlorophyll and other pigments. Ayan, so ito ay mula doon sa ating week 1 na uh, competency pero ay minabuti natin na ihiwalay dahil merong uh, special na highlight ang ating discussion ng chlorophyll and other pigments ngayon. Yeah. Para ma-explain natin ang photosynthesis next week. Ayan, so ano ba ang ating uh, discussion noong nakaraan? Noong nakaraang linggo, tayo ay nag-discuss ng tungkol sa introduction sa metabolism and we have come to learn na ang metabolism ay yung totality ng lahat ng chemical reactions na nangyayari sa ating mga cell. And of course, metabolism, we have catabolism, which is yung mga process na nag lead sa breaking down ng molecules. Uh -huh. And we have anabolism, which are the building up processes uh, or mga pathways sa nagbi-build up ng ating mga molecules. All of these reactions follow our laws of thermodynamics, in particular, our first law of thermodynamics and our second law of thermodynamics. Now, combining the first and second law of thermodynamics, may explain natin ng exogenic at saka ang ating endogen... Uh, eh, eh. At saka yung ating, uh, ating exergonic reactions at saka ang ating exergonic uh, reactions. Ayan, endergonic at saka exergonic. At ayan, nalaman din natin na ang ating ATP molecule, it is the energy carrier of the cell and it follows the principle of mm -hmm. our uh, gives free energy. So ipinapares ang highly negative nating, uh, highly exergonic nating uh, hydrolysis ng uh, ATP sa isang uh, endergonic reaction para ayan ma uh, maging uh, para sustainable yung ating chemical reactions and of course ayan mula sa pagiging adenosine diphosphate at saka inner uh, uh, inorganic phosphate ito ay nag ayan nag undergo ng chemical reaction para maging ATP molecule ulit so ayan ang ating discussion ngayon ayan i will give you to our main discussant ma'am Wendy Ayan, thank you, Tutor Eric. So, uh, nabanggit nga kanina ni Tutor Eric na na-introduce na tayo doon sa ating concept ng metabolism. And one of the most important metabolic classes in living organisms is how they obtain food or nutrition. So, there are two modes of nutrition in living organisms. So, first we have our autotrophs. Or most commonly, we call them as our producers. So the term autotrophs come from the combination of the Greek word auto, which means self, and trophs, which means food or nutrition. So bakit ba sila kilala as producers? Of course, alam ng mga students natin yan, it is because they are capable of making their own food. So the most common example of autotrophs, of course, is our plants. And then the second mode of nutrition is the heterotrophs or we commonly know them as our consumers. So hetero means others and of course, sinabi na nga kanina, troph means food or nutrition. So consumers need other organisms to obtain their food or nutrition. Now, paano ba nakakagawa ng sarili nilang pagkain yung ating mga autotrophs or producers? So they do this through a process that we know as photosynthesis. Now, this is our main topic. Ngayon, itong ating topic ng photosynthesis would be parang uh, a three-part series. So, ngayong session natin, we will just be discussing yung ating intro and yung mga organelles and pigments na involved sa process na to. So, ano nga ba ang photosynthesis? So, it is a metabolic process that converts light energy to chemical energy. Now, Yung ating photosynthesis can be represented by a chemical equation. Okay? So, dito sa ating chemical equation, we can see that we have six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. And with the energy coming from sunlight, 
nakakapag-produce siya ng isang molecule ng sugar, specifically yung ating glucose, plus uh, six molecules of oxygen. Now, based on this equation, sa tinuro sa atin ni Tutor Eric last week, we can identify what type of metabolic process photosynthesis is. So, ano nga ba ang photosynthesis? Is it catabolic or is it anabolic? Tutor Eric? Ayan, mula sa pangalan, di ba? Photo means light and synthesis. Light? We are creating or building yes, up something. Mm -hmm. Oo. So, etong mga autotrophs natin or mga uh, organisms na de, uh, that are making their own food through photosynthesis. Ayan. Or also, we have chemosynthesis. Pero ang ating ifo-focus is yung ating I... uh, photosynthesis. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, ano ba itong is... photosynthesis natin? This is a... Anabolic. An anabolic. Yes. Kasi sabi, nabanggit nga kanina ni Tutor Eric, building up. So, meron tayong product na nagagawa, which is ang main product nga niya is our sugar or glucose. So, makikita din natin sa ating chemical equation na ang raw materials ng photosynthesis are carbon dioxide and water at ang kanyang product ay sugar and oxygen. Now, paano ba na-obtain ng plants yung kanyang raw materials para ma-enable yung photosynthetic process? So, mag-start tayo doon sa water. So, water is absorbed uh, from the soil. Ang gumagawa nito ay yung ating roots. So, once uh, the roots absorb water, it will be transported to different parts of the plants, to the stem, to the leaves, through vessels na alam naman natin yan, na-discuss natin during our first quarter, the xylem vessels. Now, pagdating naman sa carbon dioxide, uh, ang carbon dioxide uh, enters the plants through the openings or pores called stomata. Okay? So, the stomata can be found in leaves and young stems. Particularly, napakarami niyan sa underside ng leaves. And ang kanyang role is to regulate the gas exchange in plants. Kaya yung oxygen na byproduct ng photosynthesis, it is returned to the environment, diba? Binabalik siya sa environment also through the stomata. Now, for the glucose, ang ginagawa naman sa kanya after magawa yung glucose, tinatransport siya sa iba't ibang bahagi ng plant also through a vessel known as the phloem. Ginagamit siya ng plants for growth and development. Now, yung excess sugar or glucose ay ini-store ng plants in the form of starch. Okay? Now, Tutor Eric, bago tayo mag-continue, uh, try muna natin kung natatandaan pa ito ng ating mga estudyante. I-tickle natin yung kanilang mga brains. Ayan. So, meron tayo so, ditong brain teaser. Brain teaser. So, ano mm -hmm. yung tawag doon sa ating double membrane pigment containing organelles that are found in plant cells and eukaryotic algae na nagsaserve as site of our photosynthesis. Ano kaya itong organelle na ito? Una, ito ay double membrane at pigment containing at pangatlo, meron ito mm -hmm. sa mga plant cells at yung ating uh, ila at yung ating ilang mga algae. Okay. Ayan. So, sa ating mga bioactive students, ano kaya itong hinahanap nating organelle? Ayan, Ayan, may nakita, nakita na ako sa gumagot. Yes. Ayan, at ang sabi ni na Elena, ayan, ni na RK, ni na Jim Well, okay? At ni Almari, ayan, ang sabi nila, that's the chloroplast. Yung chloroplast ayan. nga ba ito, Tutor Wendy? Yes, so that is correct. Ang hinahanap nating organelle ay yung ating chloroplast, which plays an important part during the process of photosynthesis. So, this is our chloroplast. So, ano nga ba yung chloroplast? It is a type of plastid, but it contains uh, pigments. And now, yun nga, yung kanyang main function is it is the site of photosynthesis. Now, the characteristics of our chloroplast is that it is double membrane. It has its own genetic material or DNA. That is why it is capable of reproducing itself. And saan ba ito nakikita? It can be found in the green tissues of Plants, so like your leaves and your young stems. Stems. Okay. Now, yung chloroplast natin, uh, it can vary in uh, in size, in shape, in number, depende from cell to cell or from 
uh, one organism to another. Now, ang focus natin is the chloroplast that is found dito sa ating discussion. Ang ating focus is yung chloroplast na nakikita sa tissues ng plants. Okay. So, it is important uh, to be familiar with the structure of the chloroplast when studying photosynthesis because uh, yung certain stages, iba't ibang stages ng photosynthesis occurs in different areas inside the chloroplast. So, dapat uh, familiar tayo dun sa parts ng organelle na to. Kanina nga nasabi, Tutor Eric, na the chloroplast is double membrane, meaning it has an outer and an inner Membrane. Inner membrane. Yes. So, yung outer membrane niya, ang karakteristik ng outer membrane ng chloroplast is that it is freely permeable to small molecules. So, this means that uh, they let everything pass through. Now, this is not true when yes. it comes to the inner membrane. Yung inner membrane naman ng ating chloroplast is highly selective. Napag-aralan na natin yan during our uh, discussion on transport system. So, pag sinabi yung selectively permeable, it may allow some materials to pass through but not others. Kaya yung ating inner membrane, it contains many transporters. Ang examples niya na yung ating integral membrane proteins na nagpa-facilitate sa movement ng ng materials in and out ng ating chloroplast. Uh, next part ng ating chloroplast ay ang ating stroma. Now, the stroma is the clear fluid inside the chloroplast. So, it is a protein-rich ground substance. So, ano ba ang laman ng stroma? It contains enzymes, starch granules, the chloroplast DNA, and the ribosomes. Now, an important stage of photosynthesis actually occurs in the stroma. Kaya mayroon siyang ma uh, it has uh, dissolved enzymes in it. Yung enzyme na yun, yun ang nagkakatalay sa photosynthetic process. Now, this will be elaborated, Jeter Eric, sa mga susunod nating session, yung pinaka-process ng photosynthesis. Yes. And then lastly, yeah. We have what we call the thylakoids. Now, yung stroma pala natin, it also provides support doon sa ating thylakoids, which is another membrane system within the chloroplast. Pag siya dinidescribe, dinidescribe siya as membrane-bound flattened disc. So, this shape siya. And they are uh, arranged in stacks. Parang patong-patong na disc. Pa. Yes, patong, parang barya no na pag Oo, ano tama natin. yun. Yun nga, yun nga yung kanyang magandang uh, description para siyang barya na pinagpatong-patong. Eh, yung stacks na yon, ang tawag sa kanya ay uh, okay. Pag isa lang, we or singular, we call it the granum. Uh, pag plural or madami sila, we call it the grana. G grana. Okay? Yes. So Now, pag isang they, stack ay granum, grana uh, ay yung maraming stacks. Granum stars. or granum, grana or grana. Now, they are interconnected to each other by tubular membranes. Ang tawag doon sa kanilang connections ay the uh, intergranal lamellae. Minsan naman may mga references that calls it the uh, stromal lamellae. Okay? The thylakoid contains yung ating mga photosynthetic Pigments na ang role naman ay to capture sunlight. Yes. Okay, so sa sana clear yung ating apat na main parts ng ating chloroplast, which is the clear inner and outer po. membrane, the stroma, and the thylakoid. Now, to the Eric, we proceed to our plant pigments. Ayan. Ayan. So bakit nga ba green ang halaman, oh, no? <laughs> kaya nga, no? Tsaka bakit na, may marami rin kulay, di ba, no, to the Eric? This is because of our plant pigments or tinatawag din silang biochrome. So, plant pigments are organic compounds. They produce very strong or intense colors. So, they can be categorized into four groups. We have our chlorophylls. So, yan yung nagbibigay ng green color sa ating mga plants. We have the anthocyanins. It gives red, purple, and blue. Ang ganda-ganda ng tignan ng kulay. And then we have our carotenoids, which gives yellow, orange, and red colors. And lastly, we have the betalanes, which gives red and yellow colors. So particularly doon sa beets, kung familiar ang ating students sa beets. Yung grabe, sugar beets, no? Oo, oh, oh, grabe kumulay yan sa kamay, di ba? It is because Ay, of opo. the plant pigment. Now, 
ano ba ang function ng plant pigment sa ating mga halaman? So first, it gives colors to flowers, leaves, and fruits. So aside from making the plants yung maganda sa mata, di ba magandang tignan, lalo na pag iba-ibang kulay at napaka-rich yes. ng colors, Importante ang colors sa plants because they use it to attract uh, yung insects, yung mga birds and animals for pollination and seed dispersal, di ba? Para maparami sila. And aside from that, pagdating naman dito sa ating discussion, uh, importante siya because it plays a key role in photosynthesis and as a consequence, it can control the growth and development of our plant. Now, among these four categories of uh, plant pigments, sa ating discussion, mas uh, focus tayo sa chlorophylls and carotenoids. Bakit? Kasi ang ating chlorophylls and carotenoids ay tinatawag nating photosynthetic pigments. pigments. So, bakit sila photosynthetic pigments? Because they can or they have the ability to absorb energy from sunlight that in turn would be utilized during photosynthesis. Ngayon, alam naman natin na ang sunlight would be the driving force. Diyan kumukuha ng energy yung ating process ng photosynthesis. And Matatar yung ability mm -mm, yung ability ng dalawang pigments na to to absorb light is connected doon sa kanilang molecular structure and organization. So kung titignan nyo yung ating presentation, mapapansin niyo na yung chlorophyll and yung carotenoid ay mayroong mga conjugated double bonds. Diba? Ayan. So, medyo yes, i-relate lang line. natin, no? Mm -hmm. Oo, i medyo i-relate lang natin. Kasi kapag ang sunlight kasi is, uh, na-harness na kasi ang uh, uh, energy from sunlight, sa pamagitan noong uh, i-excite kasi ng sunlight, yung electrons natin, yes. uh, nitong ating uh, pigments, ng ating chlorophylls <laughs> and carotenoids, and that excited electrons, ay uh, magagamit doon sa mga process natin sa photosynthesis. Now, significant yung ating mga double bonds kasi uh, as you know it, kapag, uh, kapag inaral ninyo ito sa organic chemistry uh, in your higher years, kung kayo ay magpo-perso pa ng STEM course, uh, courses, mm -hmm. sa double bonds kasi mas expose yung ating mga electrons. Electron. Unlike doon sa mga single bonds. Mm -hmm. So, yung Ayun chlorophyll po. and carotenoid, thank you to Eric for that info. So, sila, mapapansin ng mga students natin, marami silang double bonds. So, yung chlorophyll, uh, yung yes. double bonds, pag sinabi yung conjugated double bonds, uh, these are alternating pairs of uh, carbon molecules. Na pag tinignan ninyo yung sa chlorophyll, it can be cyclic, or dito naman sa ating carotenoid, it is uh, linear yung kanyang structure. So, yan nga. Sila yung yes. nag-absorb ng energy from photons. Ah, photons. Okay. Yes. Now, punta tayo, <laughs> Jeter Eric, sa structure ng ating chlorophyll. So, ito yan, yung ating structure ng chlorophyll. So, ano ba ang kanyang part? So, meron siyang central magnesium ion. Yan, yung nasa gitna ng pinaka-structure. And then, surrounded siya ng tinatawag na porphyrin ring. So, ito naman ay isang nitrogen-containing structure. And it also yes. has a long hydrocarbon side chain attached to the ring. Ang tawag doon sa side, uh, side chain na yon ay yung ating phytol chain. So, makikita pa rin dyan yung ating mga double bond na important sa pag-absorb ng energy from sunlight. So, eto na ngayon yung sagot sa tanong kanina ni Tutor Eric, why plants appear or look green sa ating mga paningin? Is it, uh, it is because uh, the chlorophyll absorbs blue and red light and it reflects green light. So, yung reflected light, yun yung nakikita ng ating mga mata. Kaya plants that contains chlorophyll appear green. Ayan, tama yan. Mm -hmm. So, tama yung uh, sagot na kung bakit green ang ating halaman. It's because, una, uh, yung mm -hmm. it's because of the chlorophyll. Pangalawa, dahil sa magnesium ion na nasa gitna ng ating uh, chlorophyll. Ayan, and of course, kung pag-uusapan naman natin ay physics, ayan, green light is reflected. Reflected. Kaya, na, kulay, green, kaya kulay green ang ating halaman. Mm -hmm. Now, there and of course, are many... Oh, meron din iba't ibang types yung ating chlorophyll. 
So we have our chlorophyll A, which is found in higher order plants and yung ating cyanobacteria or yung ating blue-green algae. Then we have our chlorophyll B, also found in higher order plants and yung ating green algae. Then we have our chlorophyll C, which is found in diatoms, dinoflagellates, and yung nagkukos ng... Ano, di ba, Tutor Eric, nung red tide? Nung red tides, and, yung dinoflagellates. Oo, oh, yung dinoflagellates. And nakikita rin yung chlorophyll C sa ating brown algae. And then, lastly, we have yung ating chlorophyll D, which is found in red algae. So, these are the main types of chlorophyll. Kasi, nabibreakdown nabi -break pa yung ibang types into other types. Eh. So, these are the four main types. Oo, so, so uh, Tutor Wendy, main, no? Yes, Tutor Ayan, Eric. Sige po. Ayan. So, parang uh, ano lang tayo, no? Additional na info. Ano ba yung pinagkaiba-iba nitong mga ito? So, ang uh, pinaka-main na nag- uh, uh, ang pinaka-main na photosynthetic figment natin mm -hmm. is yung ating chlorophyll A na makikita A siya doon sa uh, yung ating A and B. Yung A, mm -hmm. yun yung mismong nagre-reflect ng ating uh, green light. So, siya yung pinaka-main doon sa ating hmm. photosynthesis. Siya yung required. Si chlorophyll B, ayan, ang function niya is para i-expand yung color spectrum na na-absorb ng ating halaman mula sa sunlight. Hmm. Oo, yeah. di ba? Kasi, ayan, mapag-aaralan ninyo yan yung color spectrum natin sa light. Okay? And the, hmm. uh, para mas ma-maximize yung energy for photosynthesis. But, okay, ang photosynthesis natin ay magpo proceed even without our chlorophyll B. Ang pinaka-required is yung ating chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A. Ayan. So, yun nga. Sabi nga ni Tutor Eric, ang ating uh, main photosynthetic pigments uh, mainly is A and then we have our chlorophyll B. Okay. Next, dun sa ating photosynthetic pigments would be our carotenoids. So, ang carotenoids naman, ang structure niya is polyene chain terminating in rings. So, pag sinabi niyong polyene chain, uh, ito ay polyunsaturated alkenes, uh, compounds with several carbon-carbon double bonds. Ayan na naman si double bonds. It gives yes. the pigment the ability to absorb energy from photons. So ano ba ang role ni carotenoid sa photosynthesis? Although ang main talaga na pigment for photosynthesis is our chlorophyll, yung ating carot carotenoid serves as an accessory light harvesting pigment. pigment. So inaabsorb niya yung wavelength na hindi naaabsorb nung ating chlorophyll. Parang yung ginagawa kanina nung chlorophyll B, no? yung hindi niya naaabsorb na wavelength ng A, inaabsorb ni B. Tapos ganun din ang ginagawa ni carotenoid. Yung hindi naaabsorb na wavelength ng chlorophyll, siya ang nag-aabsorb and then ipapasa niya yung energy doon sa chlorophyll. So mainly, nandun siya sa range ng blue-green, blue-green colors. Kasi di ba yung ating chlorophyll would be red and blue. Ayan. So, ang example natin ng carotenoid is yung tinatawag natin ng mga, yung mga uh, pigments na makikita natin sa carrots. Ayan. Carotene Ayan. at saka yung santofil. Ayan to add pala, no, Tutor Wendy. Bukod doon yes, sa pagiging accessory, bukod doon sa kanyang pagiging accessory, uh, accessory uh, light harvesting pigment, ang carotenoids din natin ay may role uh, para mag, maging, uh, pro, para siyang may protective role doon sa ating halaman. Yes, kasi oh, sometimes, oh. yung ating mga halaman, uh, sometimes kasi yung ating sunlight, it can uh, cause uh, some molecules doon sa ating uh, plant cells na ito ay masira. So, carot uh, carotene, of course, it has uh, a role para maging protective siya doon sa mga mm -hmm mga processes na maaaring makasira doon sa ibang mga molecules due to our sunlight. So, yan yeah. yung isa pang role ng ating carotenoid. So, ayan, Tutor Wendy. Yes. So, yung uh, Tutor Eric, yung carotene tsaka yung santofil, uh, same lang din naman yan ang ba uh, base structure niya as carotenoids. Nag Iba lang sila because of the oxygen content. Kasi yung ating santofil, uh, meron siyang oxygen content. Now, yung carotenes natin, they reflect mostly red and orange light. Kaya nga yung carot, di ba? No? Doon kaya nanggaling yung name ng carrot in carrot or the other way Ice around other way no? around <laughs> oh the other yeah. way around and then yung ating santofil naman uh, very distinct din daw siya madali siyang ma-recognize because of the yellow color and napakarami daw niya napaka-abundant daw ng santofil sa leaves kaya responsible siya do sa changing ng 
leaf color kapag nag-change din yung season, hindi tayo masyadong makarelate dyan dahil hindi naman tayo four seasons. Ano, Tito Eric? Pero sa ibang bansa <laughs> yes. na nakaka-experience ng uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall, so pag nagpalit na yung yung kulay ng dahon during fall, nawawala yung green, di ba, Tutor Eric? Nag-disintegrate yes. daw yung chlorophyll dahil medyo kaunti yung sunlight. Nangingibabaw oh. yung sun to feel. Kaya yung mga trees, ang ganda-ganda nila tignan with their yellow and red colors. So, yan oh, po. Para syempre makonserve din nila pigment. yung sarili nila. Yes. Mm-mm. So, Uh-oh. nagbibigay din yan ng colors sa ating mga vegetables like yung ating nandiyan sa example, the yellow peppers, yung ating papaya and squash. Okay? So, Tutor Eric, at this point ay tutuloy na tayo sa ating bio quiz. For Ayan na. Two. Quiz time na Ooh, natin. Quiz time na. Bio quiz. <laughs> Sisilip na tayo sa ating comment section. Pasensya na. Alam mo, Tutor Eric, doon sa pagsunulita natin, meron tayong 88 comments. Pasensya na natin. Hindi na namin masyadong nababasa yan. Ngayon, ay bio quiz tayo. We go to our... Question number one. Ayan. Question number one. Mm-hmm. So, which of the following uh, chemical equations represent photosynthesis? Is it A, carbon dioxide and glucose will produce water and oxygen? Or letter B, carbon dioxide and oxygen will produce water and glucose? Letter C, carbon dioxide and water will produce glucose and oxygen. Or letter D, glucose and oxygen will produce carbon dioxide and water. So, okay, answers so, now? Ang dami ng answers. Shooter Eric, C daw po ang kanilang mga sagot. And that is the correct, correct. answer. Yeah. So, titignan Ayan. lang naman nila so, yung reactions. carbon reactant, dioxide and water. Product. Ayan, ang products niyan ay glucose and glucose oxygen. And so yung oxygen. detalye, yung detalye niyan ay next week natin i-discuss. Number yes. 2. Ayan, number 2. What type of energy transformation occurs during photosynthesis? So anong klaseng transduction nito? A, radiant to chemical, B, thermal to electrical, C, chemical to chemical or D, chemical to electrical. Yeah. At ano ang inyong sagot? Number two, may mga nakikita na akong ans- uh, may nakita na akong answer. Letter C daw. O baka siguro nagkamali lang siya ng numbering. Ayan, tignan oh, natin number, ang answer ninyo. Oh, sa- number one pa yung C, Tutor Eric. Eh. Pero yung mga naka-number two, letter A ang kanilang mga sagot. Yung mga naka-number two. Ayan. At ang ating mm-hmm. answer ay... Ay... Of course. Ayan. It's Happy. letter A. Letter so, radiant. A. Okay. Radiant energy. Yung uh, ating sunlight. And it is mm-hmm. transduced during photosynthesis into chemical energy. Na in the form of yes. our glucose. Sa food. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ayan. At for our number three. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Sa ating uh, pangatlo. What is the role of pigments during photosynthesis? A. It absorbs water. B. It captures sunlight. C, it releases oxygen, or D, it takes carbon dioxide. Of course, ayan, mag-elimination ayan tayo. Na. Ang nagre-release ng oxygen at ang nagtatake ng ating carbon dioxide sa ating halaman ay yung uh, ating stomata, ng ating mga yes, binanggit plants. Binanggit niya kanina. Mm. Ang nag absorb ng water ay mainly doon sa ating roots ng halaman and may iwan na lang sa atin ay letter... B. B, which Ayan. is yun, yun ang kanilang mga sagot, Tutor Eric. So, B. Ayan. Very good ang ating mga bioactive mm-hmm. students. Ayan. Number four. Which of the following is true about the chlorophyll? Is it letter A? It absorbs green and blue light and reflects red light. Letter B. Chlorophyll absorbs yung ating red and green light and reflects mm-hmm. the blue light. Letter C, it absorbs the blue and red light and reflect green light. And letter D, or, or letter D, it absorbs blue and green light and reflect our red light. So, tandaan nyo lang, bakit nga ba nakikita natin na green ang ating mga halaman? So, ang sagot nila, Tutor Elik, ay C. 
Okay, at ang sagot ay letter C. Yeah. Ayan, na green light is reflected. So, tatandaan niyo lang din, parang concept lang yan ng spectrum natin. Bakit wala tayong makita na kulay sa black? Kasi lahat, nung, uh, lahat ng colors ay uh, doon sa spectrum absorb. ay absorb. Mm-hmm. Yung white naman ay na reflect lahat, kaya white natin siya na nakikita. So, yan, yung halaman yeah. din natin, it reflects green light. For our last... Uh, question power bio quiz ayan where is the pigment chlorophyll located in the chloroplast is it in the a grana b stroma c chloroplast envelope or d thylakoid membrane so nabanggit yan kanina tutor eric sabi it contains pigment so antay okay. ayan may mga sagot na merong a ah, magkaibang sagot may d may a Ayan. But mostly Siguro ma-clarify natin yan. Oo, mostly D, Tutor Eric, ang kanilang sagot. So the answer okay. is? Letter D. So ang answer natin is Ayan. thylakoid membrane. Bakit nasasagot ay grana? Kasi di ba uh, Tutor Wendy, kapinipatong-patong natin itong thylakoid yes, membrane. Oh. Ayan, meron tayong grana. So tama pa rin hmm. ang uh, sagot natin na grana or granum. Yung stroma hmm. naman, this is the fluid na laman ng ating uh, chloroplast. Yung chloroplast envelope, of course, ito yung membrane niya. So, tama ang sagot natin na thylakoid and of course, tama rin yung sumagot ng letter A na grana. Okay. So, ayan. Ayan. Exciting to new Isa itong bagong segment <laughs> sa ating session, Tutor Eric. Ayan. So, kami ngayon ay magbibigay ng assignment sa inyo para mas further nating makilala ang ating mga bioactive yeah. students. So, napag- na- dito sa ating discussion, you have learned about that pigments play an important role in photosynthesis. Pero, bukod sa pagiging uh, pagkakaroon mm-hmm. ng role sa photosynthesis, ang ating mga pigments ay iba pang mga uses. So, ang task ninyo ngayon, ayan, parang at uh, bahay ni Kuya eh, no? So, ang task ninyo ngayon ay weekly humanap task? ng practical. O, ang weekly task ninyo ngayon ay humanap ng practical application of pigments. So, magbibigay mm-hmm. si Tutor Eric ng example. Hindi na siya pwedeng gamitin, ha? Ang example natin ay yung sa anthocyanins. Yung anthocyanins natin, yung red cabbage ninyo, ayan, yun yung dahilan kung bakit pwede siyang maging indicator ng pH. So actually basta mi ayan you have you when you have your plants that are rich in anthocyanin ayan kunin niyo ang extract ng balat ng talong ng uh, red cabbage natin yung kulay violet na liquid na yon marami yung anthocyanin and it is an indicator for pH level so that's mm-hmm. one practical application of our pigment so yung uh, task niyo ay hanapin ang iba pa so saan ito ipapasa so maari niyo ito nga uh, i-comment or maari din naman nagawa kayo ng infographic at saka kayo at saka kayo mag-comment Oo, dapat so, infographic what... talaga no Tutor Eric Oo, mas maganda yung infographic. So, meron tayong two modes of submission. Ang main mode ng submission natin, magpo-post si Tutor Eric ng, uh, ayan, uh, comment your uh, assignment here. Diyan sa ating Itolay uh, group. So, join lang kayo sa DepEd Itolay group. Ayan, may kita, uh, yet na uh, community ng mga nakasubaybay sa ating Itolay Uh, na, uh, sa ating itulay program. So, magpo-post uh, ako dyan ng, uh, dito sa ating assignment and comment nyo lang doon sa post ko yung uh... Uh, Tutor Eric, medyo nagkakaroon ka ng audio, audio problems. Tutor Eric, Hindi na rinig, Tutor Eric. <laughs> okay, wait lang. Ayan, sabi nga ni Tutor Eric. Hello. Ha? Ayan, ayan na, ayan na. Ay, okay. ma'am. Saan po ako naputol? Mm-hmm. Oh, doon sa magpo-post ka, doon sa Deped Itulay? Oo, magpo-post ako, tapos pwede, uh, doon ninyo i-comment yung inyong uh, assignment. Oo. I-comment mm-hmm. doon. Or maaari din naman na balikan ninyo itong live stream natin at dito yes. ninyo i-comment yung mm-hmm. inyong mga assignments. So, hihintayin namin ang inyong uh, assignment para ngayon dito sa ating week 1. Uh, week 2. So, da- uh, week 2. So, dapat, Tutor Eric, may deadline. May deadline dapat yan. Kailan deadline? Friday, no, Tutor Eric? Oh, Friday. So, may oh. deadline talaga, Tutor Wendy. Oh, kasi, no? so, kasi, Tutor Eric, 
from yung ipapasa nila diyan tayo kukuha ng top students kasi nahihirapan tayo just from our online tutorial dan lahat naman sila napaka-active no kailangan merong umangat ay diyan tayo kukuha Ayan. ng ating top top bioactive student sa kanilang assignment Ayan, of course. Ayan, very active <laughs> naman kayo. Nakikita naman natin yes. sa ating live stream ngayon, no? Ang dami ni uh, uh, nagko-comment dami, talaga dami kayo talaga nagko-comment. na inyong mm. mga answers dito sa ating uh, Itolay tutorial. Pagpatuloy lamang ang uh, interest yes. sa ating Hainayan or sa ating bio, uh, general biology. And ayan, mm. uh, Tutor Wendy, ano na ba ang ating uh, susunod? Ayan, inyong mga reference na ginamit sa ating discussion. Mm-hmm. So that will be it for our uh, for our week 2 of general biology to, uh, tutorial. Don't forget na panu- o rin din ang ating mga iba pang uh, senior high school science and technology program for first semester. Bukod sa General Biology 1, meron tayong Media and Information Literacy. We have our Earth and Life Science, Safety and First Aid, and of course, we have also our General Chemistry 1. Okay? So maraming salamat sa inyong lahat once again. Ayan, your feedback matters to us. Maaari ninyong scan yung QR code na nakikita ninyo sa inyong screen. And uh, maaari din naman na i-type ninyo yung tinyurl.com slash itolayfeedbackform. We highly... Uh, uh, we highly encourage you na magbigay ng feedback sa amin para mas ma-improve namin yung yeah. aming pagde-deliver ng tutorial sa inyo. So we will openly welcome your feedback, comments, complaints, and suggestions as well as your concerns during our session. Ayan. So maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. I am once again Tutor Eric. Ayan. See you sa ating quarter two. Uh, uh, see you sa ating quarter two week three discussion next week. Okay, and I am your tutor, Wendy. Again, thank you po sa panunod. At aantayin namin ni Tutor Eric ang inyong assignment until Friday. <laughs> Pre-measure yung mga bata. Eh, no? So, uh, up next na, Tutor Eric, after natin ay yung ating ALS Filipino and yung ating special program na I Create Animation Class. So, again, thank you po and see you next Monday. Tutor Eric, see you next Monday! See you next Monday, Tutor Wendy. Yes. See you next Bye. Monday sa ating mga mahusay na learners, teachers, and parents. Goodbye! Bye! Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!